Looking for a great deal on a gun? Today we're going to talk about the difference between buying used or consignment. Stick around. Thanks for joining us today on Shoot of the Series. I'm Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training, and today we're going to talk to you a little bit about used guns. But before we do, we want to thank all of our subscribers for helping us receive such great traction. So if you if you like to see more videos like this, be sure to like us, share us, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that bell so you get instant notifications. Now, today we're back at Brass and Bass, and we're going to be joined by my good friend Bill here. And he's going to tell us some of the, uh, the upsides when we're talking about used guns as well as consignment. I know that when I come in, first thing I look at is used guns, you know, because that's where the deals are. And I don't mind saying I've gotten pulled into more transactions on used guns without ever looking for them because the price is right. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's very easy to, to walk into a store. You never know what's going to show up. You know, we have our, our limited availability on new firearms, especially handguns uh, here in California because of that roster that we have and different rules and regulations that have been passed from 2000 to now. So uh, a good opportunity going into gun shops, things like that, uh, is finding the, the used or consignment firearms that are out there. Now, as far as the used gun side, uh, it's a little bit more limited as what you're going to find as, as a used gun. And, and what a used gun in a, in a retail store would be would be something that is still on the roster um, and somebody's came in and said hey I no longer want this I want to trade it so on and so forth and we take it in we give them an, you know a nominal fee and we put it on the shelf and we're able to resell that as a used firearm but it still has to be on the roster and typically you're going to find a gun like that it's going to be you know drastically reduced in price you know maybe a $500 gun now you're going to find for 350 400 so on and so forth you know you're going to save anywhere from 50 to 150 bucks or so, you know, depending on the firearm. Um, now, as far as uh, uh, consignments, well, let me go back to on the used guns. Now, rifles and shotguns, it is what it is. You know, we can take in, sell those, do whatever. That's not a big deal. Uh, now, when we flip the side over to consignments, the consignment is basically uh, we're selling at private party for someone without them having to be here. So now we can take that firearm and, and sell it in the store and it doesn't necessarily have to be on the roster. It can be a, a used gun that's an off-roster, somebody that just moved into the state that didn't import any of the, uh, the high-capacity magazines or anything, anything like that, or a law enforcement officer that made a purchase, had it for a while, decided they didn't like it, they decided to come in and sell it, um, and, and now you can make that purchase and, and find that it's gonna be a lot cheaper. Uh, another, another bonus to that is, you know, you're going to find those off-roster firearms that, that are available um, at, you know, sometimes reduced price. Sometimes they're going to demand a little bit more because of the fact that they are off-roster and harder to get. Um, but also, uh, you're going to find that they are, they're, they're, the availability is, is here and there, but they're, they're those guns that are, are harder to find. Um, you know, some of those things, like, you know, maybe you might find like a, a SIG P365, maybe one of the Glocks you've been looking for, Gen four or five, uh, maybe a 43, 43X, you never know what you might find. Um, <clears throat> something that's super old that you haven't seen in a long time that is off the roster, but has found its way into the gun shop, you know, like maybe a, a Colt Python. Yeah, buddy, yeah. that's how uh, I got mine. Every now and again, you'll see those wander into the, sh into the shops and, and they will typically demand a, a little bit more of a premium price, more so because of what it is than availability because before it wasn't it was still on the roster but <clears throat> it recently dropped off a couple years ago and uh the uh now that they're even more rare and the availability is even harder to find now they're probably going to start demanding an even an even higher price so uh, but that is one of the biggest things for that is is the the availability of what it is and the consignment to used and and the uh the, one of the things with the consignment um <clears throat> that because it's a private party you're allowed to make multiple purchases. You're not reduced or limited to that one handgun every 30 days as you are with a new purchase on a firearm. Um, and with that, you know, let me throw that out there as well. You know, there is legislation right now that is being pushed through the system to make long gun purchases as a one every 30 days as well. You know, for most people, that's not so much of a big deal, but 
they shouldn't be allowed to regulate and tell us how many of anything we can buy every month. That's just ridiculous. You know, it's already bad enough on the handguns, but they want to do it for everything else. You know, just another thing that they're putting in there along with the, you know, the 21 years of age to now purchase a long gun for, for people here in California. So anyway, get off my soapbox there for a second. It's a slippery uh, slope, though, <laughs> and we got to fight it at every step. Absolutely. Absolutely. So um, use firearms. You come into most shops, guys will post them up or stuff comes in and out so fast. It's uh, a good idea to frequent you know, your local gun shops just to inquire is what's there. You know, if they have a Facebook page, you know, check that out, follow them. A lot of times they will post. That's one of the things that we do is we'll post uh, different things that come in, especially unique items. So you'll find some unique items in places at times that you could, you never thought you would see. Uh, or you'll come in, you're like, oh my gosh, I haven't seen one of those in 20 years or, you know, whatever. So, um, yeah, consignments are, you know, sometimes the way to go, you'll find rifles, shotguns, you know, custom firearms that have been, that have been made, you know, you get some, some, some beautiful pieces like, like an old Mauser action rifle that's, you know, all blued, got a beautiful stock, you know, that j people had sitting in their, in their gun safes for 20 years and they just have a fire and like, you know what, I just want to give this a better home. So they'll bring them in and when we'll do consignment on it and once it sells, that person gets paid and, and they go from there and, you know, different Different places charge different fees. Um, here at Brass and Bass, it's a 30-70 split. You know, you're going to get 30, or you're going to get 70% of the sale. I keep 30. Now, if you do it on a trade or something like that, then we we negotiate. Uh, typically, it's like a 20% that I'm going to keep rather. That way, you know, you can get a little bit more money towards a trade up on to a new firearm that you want, and uh, and it's great. And sometimes you'll come in and you'll find a user consignment that's brand new they're unfired or maybe only fired a handful of times we've seen a bunch of that absolutely absolutely it happens all the time so a lot of people you know they'll buy a gun on somebody else's recommendation and it doesn't fit them and they end up having to take a loss you know i, I feel bad for them but i feel good for me if i can pick up something that's on my bucket list um, oh, yeah. One of the best aspects of, you know, getting something pre-owned is like, it's like buying a car, a used car. Somebody else has already paid for the depreciation and we get something really cool at a fantastic price. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a benefit to, to, at times, to find something. Some things are a little more beat up, but when you find those things that are more beat up and it's something that you absolutely want, you're going to pay a lot less of a price for it. So yeah, that's yeah. another ben benefit is you're going to get it for you know, a good price that you, you would normally pay, and, and now you have that in your collection. Exactly. And, you know, kind of like that rifle you were showing us, you know, it's almost like using the analogy of a sports car. Somebody's put a lot of money into that gun that they're never going to get back out of it. Yeah. So it's like picking up a great sports car, you know, um, for a fantastic deal. And you may never see something like that again. And, you know, there's a lot of guns out there that come up on the market that might be on your bucket list, and they're on everyone else's bucket list, too. So you may see an opportunity, but you've got to recognize it and act upon it, too. Because the only thing scarier than failure is regret. Oh, yeah. And there have been plenty of times I've walked away Come back the next day and it's gone. Oh that, yeah, we we happen we have that happen all the time. Customer will come back and they'll be looking through the shelf or looking on the on the shelf in the back and the rack and and hey, do you guys still have that that whatever firearm? And oh, we sold it the other day. Oh, I sh <laughs> knew I should have picked that up last week. <laughs> Snooze, you lose. <laughs> yeah, that's something when you find something an opportunity like that on the the used firearms or the consignments. You got to jump on them because they typically don't last. Yeah, the, I, I've noticed that too. I'm not the only one. You're not the only one. Nah. You cruise into a gun store, the first thing you look at is the the pre-owned stuff because yep. that's that's where the deals are. Absolutely. So, any other thing you want to input on that? No, I think that pretty much covers it. I mean, there's 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 uh, you know potential opportunity around every corner. You know, you might even find something that's a uh, like if you're an aspiring uh, gunsmith or something like that, you might find an, an item in a store that's not really fireable, uh, that's something you're going to work on or try to repair or things like that. So sometimes you'll find that that really rough item and try to make it a diamond, you know, something like that. If you are an aspiring gunsmith or you're in school, you know, we've got a, a shotgun right now that's, you know, it's just a, it's a $50 investment for somebody that potentially wants something like that. Uh, the barrel's bent. Can't resell it as a fireable firearm. So. This thing's always going to pull to the yeah. left. Yeah. So, so that that might be something that the 
the customer wants to buy or an aspiring gunsmith and change the barrel or something like that. So there's there's always that little bit of, of uh, potential out there for an educational thing or something that you just had to have in your collection. Do you keep a list? Um, like if a customer came in and said, hey, be on the lookout for this. Do you keep a list so you can help people, you know, find stuff? If Absolutely, yeah. I, I'm more than happy to, to put a, a list out there, use firearms that, that somebody's aspiring for or, you know, looking for, and, and we'll, uh, we'll write that down and, and uh, you know, give you a call when that comes in or we come across one. I don't typically go out looking for those types of items, but I do make that list, and if it does happen to walk in the store, grab my little book. Oh, hey, look, freaking... Joe was looking for whatever said name item and give him a call, see if he's still after it. You know? Yeah, yeah. Same thing we do with, you know, with new firearms as well. There's certain things that sometimes isn't here or for law enforcement, they're looking for certain things, but that's absolutely something we we're more than happy to do for, for used in consignments. You know, people come in and we'll make a list or make, put them on a list and, and uh, go from there if we, if we find it, absolutely. Outstanding. Well, there's deals to be found. You just got to be... Uh you know, looking for them, just like everything else. Bill, thank you again for your time. It's oh, always a absolutely, pleasure. Absolutely, yeah. And if there's ever anything else that anybody needs or any questions, gun laws or, or anything, you know, feel free to, to give us a call or, or come into the shop or, or uh, email us, whatever you need to do, and we'll be happy to help it out. They got a real good Facebook page, too, so you can find them on social media. Instagram, too. Instagram, yeah. <laughs> We're all right. out there. All right. Well, hey, thanks again for coming by to visit us here on Shooter the Series. We all do appreciate it. I'm Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training. Y'all take care.